Greetings fellow Gadgeteers. Sometimes when there is a new release of Gadgeteer or other updates, there is also an update required for your Gadgeteer mainboards. In this video, I'm going to walk you through doing a full update to a GHI Serbius mainboard. For this video, I'm using a fully updated 64-bit 8.1 system running on an Alienware laptop that has both USB 2 and USB 3 ports. You can use either, but in this video I'm going to use one of the USB 3 ports. So how do you know when you need an update? When you install the GHI SDK, it installed the, uh, the Fez config application. We'll use this to find our firmware and loader versions. Note, when you run this app, you must run it in administrator mode. So we'll start it up as an admin, and then we'll pull it over here so we can see what it's look what it looks like. And so you can see that I have a Serbius already connected to this computer. So if I check on uh, check for device for update, click on that, and then it's going to go out and it's going to query the main board and see what it's got on there. So you can see that I've got this uh, main board is, is fully updated. And so if there was an issue, you would see a message here. If the loader version or firmware version on your computers didn't match what was on the main board, you would see a message here indicating that you needed to update something. But we're going to do a full update on this, uh, this main board as is. Now, I've gotten into the habit of only having one sort of firm level E application open at a time. So I'm going to close the Fez config application. And we're going to uh, start with updating the loader. And so to do that, we're going to use another application that was installed by the uh, GHI SDK. And uh, just as kind of a side point, I always wondered what DFU stood for. And that is device firmware update. So we're going to use the ST device firmware update tester application. And so we can just double click on that, run that. And uh, we can see that it fires up this application for us. Now, something to kind of pay attention to, and you'll see why as we go through the process, is that this is blank at the moment. Now, something else I should also probably mention is that there are currently two versions of the Serbius mainboard. And the difference is, as you can see on this version here, there's two holes right above where it says boot. And that's where you would put a jumper. I uh, I always use just a kind of a piece of wire as a jumper, and then you would push the reset button, and that's what starts up the main board in a special uh, mode. So that's the old version. But on the new version, they replaced that with a button, which makes this really, really easy. So in order to get the uh, Serbius into its uh, special mode, we're going to hold down the boot button. So I'm going to press and hold that down, and then I'm going to push and release the reset button. And then we can see almost instantly it goes into, in the devices list here, it says STM device in DFU mode. Now, if this doesn't happen, just hit the reset button, you know, release all the buttons, hit the reset button, wait a couple seconds, and then repeat the process. So now we're in that special boot mode. We can go into the protocol tab, and we're going to uh, do a create from map. So it's going to go off and figure out how the layout of the, of the uh, loader is. And we're going to erase it. So click on the Erase Radio button and then say Go. Now this takes about 15 seconds and is the slowest part of this, of this process. And when it's done, we should see it say Success here. So we'll let it run through and do its thing. And so it's almost finished. And then we can see that it was done successfully. So now what we're going to do is we're going to load a file onto here. And now uh, the application knows where everything is, but just to be sure, I like to see oh, yeah, I'm in the 4.3 SDK and it is a Serbius family. And so we're going to click the loader and then we're going to put it into download. Click on the download radio button and then we're going to say go. And now this happens really quick. So it's loaded the uh, loader on there. We've got, it says success. So now we can close this application and hit reset on the board. So that'll take it out of the special boot mode. And so now we can go back into the uh, Fez config application, again running as administrator. 
and uh, we'll fire that up and we'll bring it back into here and so now if we go and check the device for update we'll see that the loader has been put on but there's no firmware present on the device right and this is the kind of message that you would see it you know red warning message if the if the uh, versions were out of date with what's on your computer so now we're going to go into the firmware updater and again it notes that uh, we're on 4.3 and uh, I have multiple versions on this computer but I want the 4.3 version on so then we're going to say next and uh, just to, again a visual check 4.3 and then we can say next. Now it's going to pop up a, a warning message here. Now I've got a bucket of Serbius main boards and I've been using them for some time and i got to admit I've done some dumb things while uh, while doing updates to my uh, to my main boards and I've yet to been able to brick one. If total disaster happens and you know the machine powers off halfway through an update or whatever the worst, you know, the worst possible things that I can uh, that I've, that can be done, I've probably done them. But I've never, like I said, I've never been able to brick a mainboard, and so the worst that's happened is I've had to go back and reload the uh, the loader back on. So really, these things are pretty much indestructible. So we'll say OK to that, and now it's going to go off and it's going to uh, update um, the firmware for us. So all we have to do is just uh, let it do its thing. It happens fairly quick. I mean, I think it's less than a minute for this to, to finish. And so right now, you see that there's actually two files. There's a config hex and a firmware hex. And so it'll copy those on for us. And then that's the firmware, and it'll be finished. So right now it's just doing the last file. And it'll... It's really good about giving us uh, progress and status messages. So right now it's rebooting it and it's finishing up. And so now we can go back into the connection. We'll clear this output here and we'll check the device again to see what versions are on everything. And it'll go through and we'll see that the loader is uh, the current version that's on the computer and the firmware is the current version that's on the computer. And so this main board has been uh, updated and is ready to roll for our next project. So we can close this up and uh, happy gadgeteering.